In March of 2019, the Fresno Sheriff's Office in California released several videos of a man in his early 20s attempting to steal doorbell cameras from multiple houses in the neighborhood. In one of the videos, the man can be seen using a tool to try and remove the casing of the camera, but ultimately fails. In another video, he is seen successfully removing a camera from a different house, which he later stuffs into a backpack he brought with him. It's unclear whether the man was caught by the police. While at work, a homeowner was alerted of motion being detected on his front door. Upon checking the live camera, two men can be seen approaching the front door of the house. The man in the hoodie attempts to unlock the door, but after several unsuccessful attempts, they both walk away. The homeowner would contact the police. After only a few minutes, the men were arrested. The police even came to the homeowner's doorbell and contacted him through it. Officers. How are you doing, sir? Hi there. I'm I'm actually I'm in my office, but I'm able to talk to you through the ring doorbell. Are you able to make it here to the house? You have the two kids in custody. You do. You. Oh my God! I love the ring doorbell. Yeah, they did, I just got a call from the station. They asked me to come home, so I'm going to head there now. It takes probably about 20 minutes. I'm at the airport. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. This video was captured late at night in an unknown area. In this video, two individuals wearing hoods, one of them with a mask can be seen approaching a house's front door. When the homeowner answers, the woman pretends her car has broken down and asks to borrow a phone. Do y'all have a phone I can use? My car broke down and y'all's the only one that got a light on. We don't. You don't? Sorry. The man makes the mistake of opening the door without checking who is outside. The man in the yellow hoodie and mask take the opportunity to rush the door with a gun, but fortunately, the homeowner manages to slam it shut just in time, and the two robbers flee the scene. It's essential to check your surroundings before unlocking and opening your door. This video was posted on Reddit. A man with shifty eyes and an odd expression can be seen walking up to the front door of this house, but he doesn't ring the doorbell. Instead, he just stands there looking confused for a while, possibly contemplating his next move. After a few moments, he decides against doing whatever he was planning and walks away. Later on, he can be seen wandering around the house and even crossing into a neighbor's backyard without permission. 
the man returns to the front door, but eventually walks away from the scene. It's unclear what his intentions were. The homeowner decides to call the police and make a report. It's unclear what happened after or whether the man was seen again. This video shows a disturbing incident that occurred on September 10, 2018 in Florida. At 4 o'clock in the morning, a man wearing a bulletproof vest and carrying a firearm rang his neighbor's doorbell. The homeowner, upon seeing the man on her security footage, grabbed her two children and locked themselves in the bathroom. She immediately called the police and her husband, who was out of town for work at the time. After around 25 minutes, the police arrived and arrested the man, who faced aggravated assault charges. This doorbell camera video was captured at around 3 a.m. and features a masked woman seemingly attempting to enter this house. When she notices the doorbell camera, she stares into it for almost a minute before putting on goggle-type glasses and pulling up her mask to hide her face. Before leaving, she makes several hand gestures into the camera and then she can be seen grabbing something from behind one of the walls. While it may seem like she's leaving, she continues to pace back and forth in front of the house. The video ends here. However, according to neighbors, she was seen standing outside the house for another 30 minutes before leaving. It's unknown who the woman was or what her intentions were, but the fact that she attempted to hide her identity raises concerns. This footage was captured in April of 2022 in Netherlands. On a typical night, the homeowner heard noises on the roof, thinking it was an animal, he went back to bed. The next morning, he checked this footage from his ring doorbell and saw three, maybe four young men trespassing on his property. Two of them were climbing on the roof while the others can be seen whispering to someone out of the camera's view. It was clear they were attempting to burglarize the house, evidenced by the scratch marks found on two upstairs windows, as if someone was trying to open them. Thankfully, all the windows were closed that night, but things could have ended much differently, if they had entered the home. The homeowner made sure to keep all the windows locked in the following nights. A few nights later, he heard someone trying to open a downstairs window, which was not caught on the camera. The footage was submitted to the police to identify the suspects based on their faces. A couple's ring doorbell camera captured footage of two armed individuals wearing wigs who had been following the couple home. The couple reported that they noticed a man and woman following them all the way to their front door, where the armed man pointed a gun at the back of their heads. Fortunately, the couple quickly went inside and slammed the door shut, causing the armed aggressors to run off towards their getaway vehicle, laughing. Unfortunately, just minutes after this incident, the same armed individuals successfully robbed another person at gunpoint. Only one day after the video was released, an individual recognized the armed male and turned him into the authorities, resulting in his arrest. This video was posted to Reddit and shows a man on a bike approaching a house's front door, with his face covered and a light on his head. What makes it even creepier is that he confesses to looking into random people's windows through their doorbell cameras. 
Jesus, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, looked in one day and saw you. Oh God, I can't stop. The intents of this man are unclear. It's also unclear whether the man was seen again. This video was captured on September 14th of 2022. In this video, two armed and masked men broke into the home of an elderly couple in Virginia, forcing them into a closet while they stole valuables. The elderly woman can be heard informing the robbers that her husband had hip surgery as he struggles to get up. One of the robbers took a safe containing tens of thousands of dollars belonging to someone who was staying with the couple, while the other grabbed their phones and a wallet. After a few days, the suspects were identified by police. Mitchell Boney Jr., who was 25, turned himself in and was charged with various crimes, including armed burglary, use of a firearm, abduction, and conspiracy to commit burglary. The second suspect, Tyree Demons Boney Jr., who was 22, is yet to be caught by the police. The fact that the robbers knew exactly where the safe was located make the incident more disturbing. This video was captured in September of 2020. A man named Tim was out to lunch with his children, that's when he received multiple notifications about motion being detected at his front door. Upon checking the live feed, he saw two men approaching his front door with their hoods up and faces concealed. The first man turned around to act as a lookout while the second man turned around out of fear when he noticed the ring camera. It's unclear what their intentions were, but it's likely that they were trying to gain entry into the house. Fortunately, they left when they realized they had been caught on camera. It's unknown if the men were seen again after this incident. In this video, a man can be seen walking up to a house in Cohasset, Massachusetts, and turning on his flashlight. Despite being caught on the doorbell camera, he doesn't seem to notice or care, shining the flashlight around. He even can be seen looking directly at the camera at a point in the video, but still proceeds with his activity. Later that night, the house was broken into, and the police wanted to speak to this man. Based on his suspicious behavior, there's a high possibility that he was the one responsible. The man in the video is 56-year-old Stephen Groves, who has been harassing his disabled neighbor and his caretakers for the past two years. The harassment has been captured on neighbor's doorbell camera several times. Groves has been seen taking a screwdriver to the device, attempting to clip its wires, and even whacking it with a hammer or broom handle.
it is unclear why Groves has been attacking his neighbor's property. He has been convicted of three charges of harassment against the neighbor in the past six months. Despite facing legal consequences such as a curfew, compensation for damages, and being monitored by an electric tag for nearly a year, Groves continues to harass the neighbor, causing concern for neighbor's safety. This footage shows a man in apartment complex approaching someone's door and pretending to be a police officer, possibly in an attempt to gain entry. It's unclear whether the man knew the residents of the apartment or not. Police! As the man glances over at the camera, he quickly leaves. He can be heard saying something, which may have been an attempt to play off his actions and provide an excuse as he was caught on camera. Oh shit, I'm in the wrong world. This video was captured in the middle of the night and shows a mysterious figure passing back and forth in front of this house, setting off the ring doorbell camera alert. He runs for like another minute and he never comes back, he never does anything else, wherever this... It is. Never rings again. Is that wearing a dress or something? Again. The uploader mentioned that the figure appeared extremely blurry. While the doorbell camera works fine on other occasions, it seems paranormal in this instance unless there is a technical explanation that someone could help him better understand. It's, it's like dark a, there, like and then yeah, boom. This video shows a woman walking up to someone's front door and behaving oddly. She seems to be acting strangely until a car passes by at which point she breaks character to avoid drawing attention to herself. After the car is gone, she approaches the door and puts her face right up to the camera. The homeowner claimed that he had no idea who the woman was. This video captures a disturbing incident recorded by a doorbell camera. Although there are only few details available, the video was uploaded by the neighbor of the camera's owner. In the video, a masked man can be seen approaching a house at night while holding a gun. He stands at the front door for only a few seconds, appearing to contemplate his actions, before quickly leaving. The owner of the house does not know who this person is, but it is possible that the individual was planning an armed robbery, possibly targeting this specific house. However, without more information, it is difficult to know for certain what was going on. This video was captured in May of 2020, at around 9.40 pm. Raymond Hawkins, a 45-year-old man, opened the door to someone he thought was a delivery driver dropping off a package. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, new methods of delivery were being used, and the alleged driver backed away from the front door, claiming he needed to take a picture of the package at the doorstep. Unfortunately, Raymond had no idea that the man was actually part of a gang that was about to break into his house. When he bent down to pick up the package, the fake driver, Christopher Sargent, lunged at him with a knife and attacked him, while three other masked men followed from behind. Raymond and his wife suffered non-life-threatening injuries, while his son's injuries were described as worse. Muffled cries can be heard in the video as the robbers ransacked the house for a few moments before fleeing with thousands of dollars worth of items. Two of the culprits, Anthony Laskells and Christopher Sargent, were later arrested and charged with aggravated burglary and possession of a knife, but the other two were never found. In this video captured by a house's doorbell camera, a strange transparent, 
and blurry figure can be seen slowly moving down the sidewalk across the street. While it resembles a human at first glance, the oddity here is that when the homeowner asked a neighbor, who also had a camera, to check their footage at the same time, the figure was not visible in their recording. This video shows a man approaching a random porch while holding a plastic bag and a roll of toilet paper, looking confused. His behavior is strange, suggesting he could be under influence of something. The homeowner, who is on the other side of the closed door, can tell that something is off about the man's behavior. How can I help you? Uh, uh this is, um, uh, my name is James. <clears throat> What's your name? James. And who are you looking for? No, a friend of mine. No friend of yours lives here, buddy. And I got a Glock over here ready for you. So if you don't get the fuck off my porch, I'm going to unload it on your fucking face. Get the fuck off my porch. The homeowner asks the man who he's looking for. The homeowner handles the situation perfectly by communicating through the door before opening it. After catching on to the man's suspicious behavior, he makes the man aware that he has a gun. This was an effective way to get the man away from his front door. This doorbell camera footage was recorded in the morning of October 2, 2022. It shows three men standing right in front of the front door of this house. They have weapons and are masked. When one of them notices the doorbell camera, he immediately covers it with his hand. His glove is all that can be seen for a good part of the video. He uncovers the camera for a second, revealing all three men. They can be seen leaning against the wall and crouching down low to the ground, obviously trying to prevent being seen by anyone inside. At that point, the homeowner is eventually awakened by the motion-detected phone notifications. When he opens the app, all he can see is a glove covering the camera. He turns on the speaker and attempts to identify the person on his front porch without having viewed the earlier footage. Hello? 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 The homeowner called the police after the men stayed quiet. However, the men had left by the time the cops arrived. Many people think that they were attempting to lure the homeowner into unlocking the door so that they could rob him. But, why did they not try to convince him to open the door when he was on the doorbell speaker? They were probably attempting to pick the lock while the camera was covered. Nobody knows for sure, what they intend to do, if they got inside. 